Hi crocheters, it's Janet with CrochetPatternsForBeginners.com. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Alright, let's have another book review. Um, one of the most popular book reviews requests that I have had so far are Show Me Your Baby Books. So I said, okay, I'll grab my baby books, bring them out, and let's get started. One of my favorite ones is this Happy Crochet Book, Patterns That Make Kids Smile by Carolina Guzman. Um, there are, at the beginning of the book, it is a soft cover book, by the way, and there are 11 projects in this book. So let's just talk about the projects and a little bit about, um, she also has a very good beginning where she goes through the stitches and she shows you how to do color change and um, she does cover an invisible decrease and um, increase, which I think is wonderful because when you're doing amigurumi, that's important. That's a very important technique to pick up. She also talks about bobble stitches and, of course, color changes and joining everything together. So let's talk about the projects in the order that they're presented in the book. They are presented pretty I don't know the like the order that she decided to go with on these. Um, they're more about I think I don't think they're presented like in levels. I think she's just actually when I think about it, I've looked at some of these projects and yes, they are presented in levels. Um, but there's like some intermittently thrown in. So the first project is easy. It's an amigurumi project, but it's a basket. It's a little. You could use it for crayons or whatever. It's so cute. Uh, I, I really like this a lot. It's easy. And again, she has row by row instructions along with crochet diagrams, which again, depending on how you crochet, she has something for, for both people. So that's important um, because you don't want to just like have row by row instructions for people that like to read diagrams. I personally don't like diagrams, but I'm glad that they're there for the people that do. The next project is an owl pillow. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? This is an intermediate project. And it's just, it's intermediate because it's in the round and there are some increases and decreases in here. And so when you look at um, the Crochet Guild website, they'll tell you that the Yarn Guild website that increases and decreases bring us up to um, an intermediate level. But she has some very nice, it's very well photographed too, so that you can tell you know where you're at with the pattern. And again, she has the crochet graph and the row by row instructions. This is too sweet. I have uh, developed my own pattern for something that's similar to these, but I just think that these baby rattles are just so amazing. They're wonderful gifts to give um, if you want to give something a little bit extra, a little bit handmade in a, you know, in a gift bag that you're creating or a gift basket that you're creating. These things are wonderful. They make beautiful gifts, and they're so soft, and really moms appreciate that. And she has three different three different patterns in here. It's obviously the same foundation pattern, just more or less making a few different changes to like the ears and um, the face and where the eyes are located. And on the bumblebee, the little antennas. And she's got all of the, again, the diagrams. Here's an amigurumi uh, pattern. This is an advanced pattern. It's a ladybug and amigurumi doll. She's really cute. Um, I like her hair. This pattern I found to be, it's pretty challenging. I, I looked it over and I did a few uh, stitches with it along just to see because when I do a review I like to look at the patterns and really give you guys some information on them to determine if this book is for you or not. And I will tell you that the reason that this is advanced is because there's just a lot of parts to it, a lot of pieces to it. Um, if you don't mind sewing things together, putting things together, then this pa this pattern is for you. If you're not, if you don't like that, the arms, the antennas, the, yeah, there's a lot of pieces to this pattern. So if you don't like stuff like that, then I would stay away from that one. But I wouldn't hesitate to take it down a, a step or two and do the lovey. The lovey is so much easier because really all you're doing is the head and the arms. So if you want, if you like the look of this lady love, ladybug lovey, 
then you know go ahead and do the lobby the lobby is not as, as time consuming and difficult and there's not as many pieces to sew together but she is really sweet okay this is my favorite pattern in this entire book it's the scrappy happy puppy scarf how cute is this it's an easy pattern yay okay it's it's perfectly suitable for beginners if you know how to crochet in the round and if you know how to do your basic stitches then you're good with this this is this is super simple um, and it doesn't get any cuter than this right there is a little bit of sewing involved you can see there's there's some parts there's the ears there's the patch there's the nose and of course there are the legs and the tail but I'm telling you it's so worth it this pattern is adorable I love this pattern and again you can see she's very thorough she's got her crochet diagram so you're all set now these mobiles are very very popular right now um, a lot of people are making them and they sell them I've seen them at craft shows I've seen them different places and she does list all the you know places in um, all of the materials that you'll need and you can get these on on Amazon you can get them on Etsy you can get them on eBay it's not really that complicated to to, to find these things this is an intermediate pattern um, again there are pieces that you do have to, to to create individually to sew it together but I think this is worth it um, this pattern is really not that hard um, I've looked at the patterns for each of the the um, the animals and they're not difficult the star is so cute um, and I love the colors if I was going to make this whole entire project from the pattern I would definitely use the same colors maybe put in a blue in there instead of the pink but if it was a little boy but how cute is this so adorable and again she's very very thorough with each animal the next project are crocodile booties how cute are those just adorable kind of reminds me of the frog uh, hat that we looked at the other day in the crocheted animals book by Vanessa Muncy so these are little booties just too cute I mean just adorable and they start the sizes on these um, for the booties are three to six months and six to twelve months and those are the sizes that she has so she just really has the baby's first year covered but how cute are those look at <laughs> little oh my goodness just adorable the detail that she put into this is is quite good how sweet is this rugs are becoming very popular again and I like that because my grandmother used to take bread wrappers uh and she would save them and she would cut them into strips and she would make these like rugs out of bread wrappers and when you think about it it was really easy because they were so easy to clean up because they were plastic but my grandmother was a very resourceful woman and she crocheted knitted sewed she did it all and she just really she just really knew how to take uh something make something out of nothing that's that's how I remember her so this is a this is an easy pattern and it doesn't look easy and I like that I, I do like that I have to say that this is my second favorite pattern in this book I like these rugs I think they're adorable adorable for nurseries I mean as you can see here this is only a couple pages so that should tell you how simple it is it's not complicated at all it's a super easy pattern it'll take a little bit of time um, but well worth it just because it's a size it's 35 and a half um, inches in diameter when it's when it's uh, finished with the um, indicated yarn so this is made with a bulky yarn so that's why the stitches are nice and tight which we all like when we're doing amigurumi or just something like this or uh, rugs basically they should be tight so that really is cute this little raccoon ear flap hat adorable and this is an intermediate pattern mostly because of the 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 in the round on the top it, it's a top down hat and also too there are definitely some you know little pieces that you have to create to go to that and some sewing involved so but it's cute it's worth it if you like those ear flap hats another really cute one is this Logan the lion backpack now seriously how adorable is that especially for like a preschooler I you couldn't get any cuter than this little backpack here and 
she's got it really, she, I like the roominess of the backpack, but it's not so heavy and bulky like you see little kids carrying these backpacks that are just, I'm sorry, way too heavy for them. Um, they shouldn't be carrying them. They're not good for their backs. This one is perfect. And look, it's just, it's um, it's rated advanced, so it is an advanced pattern, but that's mostly because of all the pieces that go, but there's a lot of crocheting in the round. There is some flat crochet, like the straps are crocheted flat. Um, there's some stuffing involved there, so on the head, you can see that she's got that right there. The ears, like I said, just there's a lot of pieces, little pieces, but really, look at the shape of this backpack. It's really ingenious how she did this. I love this. This is a great little project. Um, it is something, again, that is advanced, so the stitches aren't advanced. It's just the technique of like increasing, de decreasing, and then knowing how to sew and that sort of thing. So, again, if this is something that you want to do, I highly recommend this pattern. It's it's adorable. Absolutely adorable. And as far as the colors go, I wouldn't change a thing, really. It couldn't be cuter. Okay, the last thing that we have is a little bunting garland. Um, it's a little animal, various animals. She's got an elephant, a hippo, and a lion. Too cute. Um, these are also very popular to hang, like, over a crib. Um, with bunting, it's really easy because it's just little pieces, and then you just put it on a string, or I like a, a glittery clothesline. I've seen those. They have them on Etsy with glittery um, clothespins. I could post a link to that if you guys want, if you're, if you're interested in something like that. But this is, again, this is adorable pattern, and it's an intermediate level pattern. Okay, and we're at the end of the book. All right, so that is my review of the Happy Crochet Book, Patterns That Make Kids Smile. I do recommend this book. Her her patterns are what I didn't find any mistakes in it. Uh, I looked it all over, and I checked out some of the stitches and just some of the patterns, and really, it's a good book. So if you like this sort of thing, you want to make a little kid smile, definitely crochet the happy crochet book patterns that make kids smile they really do make kids smile all right guys thanks for stopping by and again wander on over to crochetpatternsforbeginners.com for easy crochet patterns beginner crochet patterns and a variety of different designs have a great day